back to my vlog series. My name is Olivia and I'm excited that you're here. If you have no idea who I am or what I'm doing, well, I'm introducing you to me through my mediocre paintings. This week, I encourage you to look up the definition of symbolism and keep it in mind throughout the painting. But other than that, I won't spoil too much. I hope that you enjoy and I can't wait to check back in at the end. Anyone who knows me knows that I love people. Being around them, meeting new ones, talking to them, it's my favorite pastime. And as much as I love strangers, which I really love strangers, I have to say that I think I love my friends more. I've had the incredible privilege to meet incredible people who have and are still actively changing my life. I have so many groups of friends that represent so many different parts of me. My home friends, my school friends, my Vermont friends, my study abroad friends. These are just some of the people that I go to when I'm stressed or need an opinion or when I need someone to tell me if something is a bad idea or when I need someone to console me after I did the thing that was a bad idea because I was too stubborn to listen. <laughs> my friends have grown up with me, whether it be an actual age or just alongside me in my growth as an individual. And they've seen me at my best and at my worst. And especially during the pandemic, they've been a huge source of comfort for me as we all navigate living, graduating, and surviving. Because my pals are from such different places and have lived such different lives, I have learned so much about what it means to know people of different opinions, perspectives, and experiences. And they've taught me a million different lessons about myself along the way. Through my friends, I've learned to laugh at myself, to stay grounded, to release the tension in my jaw, to be grateful for everything I do, to stand up for myself, ooh, to never pick data head in cranium, to be more spontaneous, to work harder than anyone else in the room, and to feel okay losing, which I'm still working on that one. Most of all, they've taught me that no matter what happens, whether I'm successful or a failure, whether I'm living it big or mooching off one of them, they're still gonna laugh at me and with me no matter what, and they're gonna love me while they do it. And while it appears that I've just painted a glass of water, I promise that it means so much more. Remember that symbolism tip I gave you at the beginning? Yeah, this is where that comes in. All right, so I know what you're thinking, that you just told me this whole story about friendship and about friends and how much my friends impact me, and then I painted a glass of water? I challenged myself to think about what those friendships make me feel. And I just kept coming back to this feeling of feeling incredibly full every time I'm with any of my friends. They bring me a lot of joy, and so I wanted to paint something that made me feel full. And so I decided to do that by painting a full glass of water. I hope that this makes sense and I hope that you guys feel joy and contentment like I did from this painting. And I hope that you join me next week to learn another little thing about me.